Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be building a cooling system for this little guy right over here. So I do most of my work from programming to playing games to editing videos on this thing. This is an interesting piece of hardware. It is a full-fledged computer built into this small place. So, so far there is only a single trade-off to this small size that is it doesn't have a dedicated GPU. So when you are running any sort of graphics high operations, all of those processing, those graphics falls down to the CPU, which in turn gets pretty hot. I mean, it can process all of that, but it gets pretty hot. And the present cooling system is not that great. So it uh, overheats and suddenly switches off. So we're going to do something to address that problem. All right, so I think I might have just found a solution to this. So I read online that this cooling system draws air through these vents on these sides and then pushes it through the processor and again out through these vents. So technically, if you could position something like a fan on either of these sides and push cool air, more amount of cool air inside, I guess that's going to solve our problem. So. Let's try it out. So, as I said, we are going to be needing a fan like this one. I ripped this out of an old computer and it's pretty cheap and pretty easy to get. So, this is a 12 volt fan which uses about 0.3 amps of current. And to power this, we are going to be using this DC adapter. And that's it, both of them we can do it. So let's get started. Let's begin by snipping off this connector. So there are four wires coming to this and I think the red and the black ones denote positive and negative and the blue and the yellow ones are for data pins I think which tell the fan when to turn on and off etc. So we are only concerned with the red and the black ones. So let's uncover them a bit. And then we can connect them to the pin. So now we are going to be using this pin to connect the DC adapter to the fan. Now this is a 3 pin port. So we are going to have to identify the common pin which we are going to be using this multimeter. And then Okay, so both of them are positive. I mean both of them are connected and this is the other one. So let's solder our fan to this port. I guess this doesn't have any polarity, so however we solder it, it should be fine. One eternity later. Alright guys, there it is. The airflow is pretty decent. I mean you can get the airflow on directions. Now we just have to find a way to connect it to PC. Okay, so to keep our tests consistent, we are going to be running a game called Star Wars Battlefront 2 and in that, let's, uh, okay, we are running it and let's wait for a few minutes. So I'm going to be running this application called CPU Temperature and System Information Utility. 
and we are running at 99 degrees Celsius. As you can see, both the cores are fully hot. Now let's switch on our fan. Thanks for watching everyone. Please hit the subscribe button down below and comment and help sub support a 14 year old innovator. Thank you.